Hello everyone, Weather Jamaica here. Welcome to this updated video on weather across Jamaica and the rest of the Caribbean. It is Sunday evening, September 22, 2024. Now before we jump into it, please ensure that you guys like the video. I'd really appreciate it if you guys get this video up to 100 likes. If you don't know by now, that's how the YouTube algorithm works. We all like the video and then the YouTube algorithm pushes the video out to more persons who are in the path of these tropical systems that we can keep everyone safe, especially during the peak of Atlantic hurricane season. That's August through to October. Share this video with your friends, your co-workers, your relatives and even your church brethren and subscribe if you haven't yet done so. Leave a comment down below letting me know the that has been liking you your recently. Also feel free to ask any weather related question that you might have about the future of the weather in your specific area. Alright, so let's just take a look at the U.S. National Hurricane Center 7-day graphical tropical weather outlook. We can see that the area that they had highlighted across the main development region has now exited the coast of Africa. It's this tropical wave that's expected to have a medium chance of development when it gets into the central portion of the main development region. According to the Hurricane Center, a tropical wave is located near the west coast of Africa. Environmental conditions could support some gradual development of this system and a tropical depression could form during the middle to latter part of the week while it moves westward to west-northwestward across the eastern and central tropical Atlantic. And we see that they've given it a 0% chance of cyclone formation within the next 48 hours, that's the next two days. And if we take a look at the visible satellite images right here before the sun went down, we can definitely make out the clouds associated with this tropical wave right there to the east of the Cabo Verde Island right there off the coast of Africa. However, our main focus is the system across the Western Caribbean. According to the Hurricane Center, the matter of fact, it states right here, Disorganized showers and thunderstorms located over the northwestern Caribbean Sea and portions of Central America are associated with a broad area of low pressure. Environmental conditions appear conducive for development of this disturbance and a tropical depression or tropical storm is likely to form during the next few days while the system moves northward across the northwestern Caribbean Sea and into the southeastern Gulf of Mexico. Regardless of development, this disturbance is expected to produce heavy rains over a portion of Central America during the next several days. Interests in the northwestern Caribbean, the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico, and western Cuba should closely monitor the progress of this feature. Later this week, the system is forecast to move generally northward across the eastern Gulf of Mexico, and interests along the northern and northeastern Gulf Coast should also monitor the progress of this system. And we see that they've given it a 50% chance of cyclone formation within the next 48 hours, next two days, and an 80% chance of cyclone formation within the next seven days. And what are they referring to? They're talking about this entity that we saw here on the infrared rainbow satellite image. Just for reference, we have Jamaica right here, and we can definitely see all of the deep convection associated with this system across the Greater Antilles in general, especially right there off to the southwest of Jamaica. Look at all of these reds right there. Definitely some strong thunderstorm activity off to the west and to the southwest of the island as we speak. And this is expected to spread out again over a portion of the island tonight into monday so it might just be a wet monday for sure or it could be a case where we get all of the rainfall throughout the night into the early morning hours and then the morning is mostly cloudy we know these things go when it comes to monday in jamaica it is it's as if the weather likes to get us out of the house and then possibly when we're at work or at school maybe the weather might get drastic again with some bad or some strong rainfall and keep in mind that the meteorological service of jamaica has issued a flash flood watch so flash flooding could be possible so please ensure that you're on your p's and q's make sure you're on the alert walk with your rain gear umbrella water boot rain coat you name it 
and also keep in mind that the temperatures are going to be cooler than normal so yes you can bring a sweater if you have one all right so let us see what the supercomputer mouse are showing we're just going to be going out to the next 96 hours that's about what the end of the day on wednesday if not early thursday and we're going to be focusing our attention right here on the euro model that's the timestamp. stamp we're going to be looking right here across the central to the western caribbean for all of this the moisture represented by the greens yellows oranges and as we begin with the euro going out to the next 96 hours first things first this is valid for 12z on monday which is actually 7am on monday and we can see all of the greens represent moisture coming into portion of jamaica the heaviest rainfall off to the west and southwest of the island right there as we continue to go out in time we see that 6z on tuesday which is actually 1am still has a lot of moisture especially across the waters to the west of the island to the south of the cayman islands some of this rainfall even onshore across jamaica as we continue heading into even wednesday we still see some moisture across portion of jamaica this is 9z on wednesday which is actually 4 a.m we still see that moisture even although the system is right there close to the yucatan peninsula and western cuba and then we see that by the end of the 96 hours the system for the most part should be out of here right there across the eastern portions of the gulf of mexico just like what the hurricane center stated and a possible stronger system if not a tropical storm maybe a low end hurricane so if you have relatives or friends who live in georgia florida louisiana mississippi please ensure that you contact them alabama as well because this could be a bad situation and the thing is both supercomputer models are showing something similar let us look at what the gfs is showing we just looked at the euro so as we go out in time 12 z on monday which is actually 7 a.m we see the heaviest of the rainfall right there after the southwest of the island or the west of the island we see the yellows the oranges red that represents the six to eight to ten to what 12 inches of rainfall and we see the greens across the island so we should still be getting that some amount of moisture if not overcast guys as we head into tuesday we still see that moisture coming in this is zero z on wednesday which is actually 7 p.m on tuesday and we still see the greens represent the moisture the system definitely stronger right here on the gfs as it heads closer to the yucatan peninsula and then as we continue to go out in time this is valid for 12z on thursday which is actually 7 a.m and we still see some moisture coming into portions of the island but we see that by the end of the 96 hours by thursday for sure the system is right there across the same portions of the gulf that the euro has it even although the gfs has it a bit further keep in mind that this is well for 18 on thursday which is actually 1 p.m on thursday we see it closer to land on uh, this run of the euro this is about 12 z on thursday which is actually 7 a.m on thursday and we see that it is more south of where the gfs has it for that time period we'll see how that goes clearly the gfs is a bit faster if i'm not mistaken either way we if we have relatives or friends in those states they have to be paying close attention so that they're not that drastically affected but the main focus of these maps is for the impact that's going to be having on jamaica and we're talking about rainfall we still have a lot more rainfall to get even though we've been getting that rainfall since last night into today and we're indeed grateful for the rainfall the cool down of the temperatures keeping the water in our pipes for the most part and if we take a look at the next 96 hours these maps are showing the accumulated precipitation these maps are showing all the rainfall that's expected from now up until thursday september 26 and we still have a lot more reds that represent the one inch all the way up to the two inches in the burgundy colors and the purples especially across the waters to the south of the island this is on the gfs euro showing some of these purples on land especially after the west where we see the pinks the salmon colors the lighter shades 
that we know represent all up to eight maybe ten inches of rainfall even some slight blues in there they represents all the way up to what 12 inches of rainfall if i'm not mistaken for the waters to the south of the cayman island lots of rainfall in store and the thing about this forecast is that we could be getting more rainfall than expected or we could be getting less rainfall than expected in some isolated spots so we have to be paying close attention we know how these troughs can be we can get a lot of flash flooding sometimes or it could be a case where most of the rainfall is out to sea than anything else so we have to take these forecasts the grain of salt and be prepared just in case and i'll definitely be here to keep you posted on what's happening on my other social media platforms if we take a look at the surface map of the atlantic for this evening we can see the air of low pressure associated with that system that the hurricane center is watching that very system that we just mentioned we can see that we have the tail end of a cold front right there to the north of the bahamas we can see that we still have a trough across portions of florida the air flow pressure that the hurricane center was watching yesterday the one that the hurricane center was watching the day before yesterday they're still there but the hurricane center is no longer interested in those considering that the chances have dwindled for development we can see the tropical wave right here off the coast of Africa that the Hurricane Center is watching for development as it heads towards the west and then possibly west, northwest right there. And we can see that we have another tropical wave right there to the northeast of South America. If we take a look at the visible satellite images of the Atlantic before the sun went down, we can definitely make out these entities. The clouds associated with the trough across portions of Florida, the clouds associated with the tail end of that cold front right there to the north of the Bahamas, the clouds associated with the areas of low pressure, they're definitely still spinning away right there to the northeast of the Caribbean, the clouds associated with that tropical wave to the northeast of South America, the clouds associated with that tropical wave to the west of Africa, and the clouds associated with the broad air of low pressure interacting with the trough across the central to the western caribbean lots of moisture associated with the system right there and majority of these islands are definitely being affected from cuba haiti the dominican republic the cayman islands jamaica central america even portions of northwestern south america getting in on some of the action We'll be talking more about the rest of the Caribbean weather later on. Let us focus our attention on what was predicted in yesterday's video about the weather across Jamaica for today, Sunday, September 22, 2024. It was stated in this fancy tweet, Brace yourself, Jamaica, tonight into Sunday. Might just be nature's way of giving you an impromptu water park. Prepare for a tropical downpour extravaganza that could potentially turn streets into rivers and backyards into lakes. We definitely got the rainfall we definitely got the strong winds not necessarily turning streets into rivers for the most part or backyards into lake but we definitely had the rainfall that cooled down the temperatures and we're indeed grateful for that and there was no specified area across jamaica to receive rainfall yes southern jamaica for sure but it could have been anywhere eastern central western jamaica northern and southern parishes by the way just for reference we know eastern parishes in jamaica we're talking about those parishes in the county of surrey like portland st thomas kingston st andrew central parishes you know we're talking about those parishes in the county of middlesex like st anne st mary manchester clarendon st catherine Western parishes, you know, we're talking about those parishes in the county of Cornwall, like Hanover, St. James, Trelawney, Westmoreland, and St. Elizabeth. Northern parishes, you know, we're talking about those parishes on top, like Hanover, St. James, Trelawney, St. Anne, St. Mary, Portland. Southern parishes, you know, we're talking about Westmoreland, St. Elizabeth, Manchester, Clarendon, St. Catherine, Kingston, St. Andrew, and St. Thomas. And what ended up happening? Just as stated in yesterday's video, we highlighted some rainfall coming in from the southeast, right there to the south of St. Thomas, and it definitely came in. I live in St. Thomas, and I definitely got lashed with some heavy rainfall. I put the video up on my Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook story, if I'm not mistaken, that showed a heavy downpour, lots of lightning as well. 
we definitely got that rainfall as of this post that was made here on our twitter page at 8 10 pm by the way keep in mind that these posts aren't only made here on our twitter page or with the jamaica but they're also made on our instagram page or with the dot jamaica on our tiktok page or with the jamaica and on our facebook page or with the jamaica 876 so if you have one of those social media platforms please ensure that you follow us there as we may post throughout the day that you can't afford to miss so at this time we saw that the rainfall was definitely coming into portions of Clarendon, St. Catherine and St. Thomas. We see the greens, the yellows, the gold that represents some light moderate, some heavy rainfall at that time. And I definitely got in on that heavy rainfall in my portion of St. Thomas. Then as the night progressed, we started to see more of the clouds associated with that rainfall spread out across sections of mostly southern Jamaica. So most southern parishes are getting in on the rainfall for sure. And we also highlighted the clouds to the south of the island. The deep convection, the reds, the blacks, the sparkling white dots that represent some amount of lightning strikes, if not lightning flashes, that were on the way to affect portion of the island throughout the night. And that was indeed what took place. That was indeed what took place for sure. Because in the early morning hours, we saw what took place with the close-up satellite images the deep convection definitely made its way across the island coming in across sections of south central jamaica first then spreading towards the eastern portion of the island so definitely across section of saint elizabeth manchester clarinet saint Catherine, kingston saint andrew and saint thomas got in on the brunt of the thunderstorms even although we did have rainfall across some western and northern parishes as well we definitely have the confirmation from some of our followers right here on our twitter page even though there's a lot of comments too many to read we had florizel stating yeah lots of rain here in south manchester at that time that was what 10 38 pm we have fest genius stating rainy that was 301 am this morning we also had a real demar stating it was a beautiful sight here in Tain thomas can sleep good Marlon Chris is sitting experiencing some drizzling on the northeast coast of Hanover, exhausted. Pigeon stating raining in Bull Bay. David Brooks, lot thunder and rain, Kingston 3. And even on our YouTube page, we had some comments coming in on the video that was posted yesterday evening. JV Sewell 7462 stating the time cooled down, thank God. I own. Aniki8065 stating rain in Spanish Town last night and this morning Sunday. So that indeed confirms the rainfall throughout the night into Sunday morning. And even as the day progressed through Sunday, we still had the rainfall coming in. The Cuban Doppler radar images were posted at around 12 pm, highlighting the rainfall still coming in from the south and the east. Definitely that last portion of Portland, St. Thomas, section of Clarendon, St. Catherine, Kingston, and St. Andrew got in on the rainfall. It definitely spread across the island. We even posted the live camera from C Jamaica's YouTube channel showing crossroads. And we definitely had the strong winds, especially across the section of Kingston, St. Andrew, and St. Catherine for sure. With the rainfall, some persons are wondering. If it was another squall line or a gust front or a freak storm definitely had that strong wind for sure making it seem like there was a an earthquake taking place on this crossroad cam we can definitely see the rainfall blowing in the wind definitely some moderate to heavy rainfall the people and vehicles going about their business with their windshield wipers on and then we also had another post that was made at around 3 50 pm Highlighting the infrared satellite images, showing all the deep convection on this map, showing the purples, the greens, the yellows, oranges, reds, and the whites within those reds that represent some deep convection for sure, especially off to the south and west of the island right there. And if we take a look right here, we can see the very deepest convection right there off to the west of the island, as indicated by those blocks. And those purples within those blocks not to mention the sparkling white dust but as of right now not much taking place definitely fear we're going to be looking at that shortly but let's take a look at the comments coming in to highlight you know what took place today 
Marlon Chris is sitting. It is raining here in Hanover. This was posted three hours ago. This what Hage encounter stating raining on and off in Greater Port. More chirp is sitting. Dark clouds are gathering here in Meadowbrook Estate, but the deluge is not here yet. Teflon intermittent showers in Port More. We also had some comments coming in on our Facebook page. Shari Walsh stating it was also windy in my neck of the woods this afternoon. Two Stacy and Howe stating, guess what weather Jamaica? It's raining in the desert. I'm loving it. Natalia Anderson stating raining in North Central Clarendon. And we even had some comments coming in on our Instagram page. Lovely Macy A7 Stick stating this weather reminds me of when Beryl was actually coming, pure winds and rain. Angel underscore Gabriel underscore 614 stating windy in Longville Park, Clarendon. And even vodka underscore and underscore vibes underscore stating my kind of weather. Cal underscore da underscore diva stating loving the weather. And there are many comments, just a bit too many to read. And even if we take a look at C Jamaica's YouTube channel at around 1 26 p.m., we saw the rainfall for sure that was taking place. Look at that. Looking towards the west or the west southwest or the southwest across Kingston, we definitely saw the rainfall blanketing the area. The milky white colors represent the light mother to some heavy rainfall for sure. By the way, keep in mind that if you'd like to see more live streams like this, just visit C Jamaica on youtube they also show live streams of the flat bridge halfway tree barbican and even the kingston harbor and they're planning on increasing the amount of cameras that they have around the island so subscribe today so that you don't miss out if we take a look right here at the accumulated precipitation for the past 24 hours from the caribbean institute for meteorology and hydrology website this map does indeed paint a picture of where we had the rainfall, especially across southern Jamaica. We see all of these greens and even some yellows within those greens that represent what, up to 50 millimeters of rainfall. Might have been more, might have been less. We know these maps aren't 100% to scale. What we're showing is the geography of where we had the rainfall across the island. And we see that it was definitely a cross section of most parishes for the most part. And if we take a look at the very latest infrared satellite image of jamaica this latest image just came out at 35 minutes past the hour so keep in mind that the time is now 7 48 7 49 pm we can definitely see the deep convection right there especially off to the southwest and to the west of the island and let's see if we can match it to what we're seeing on the latest cuban doppler radar image right here we have to be depending on the cuban doppler radar because the jamaican doppler radar has been done for quite some time hopefully they get it sorted out as soon as possible so this is out of the latest image that just came out at 8 30 p.m eastern standard time which is actually 7 30 p.m jamaica time so this just came out 19 minutes well showing that the, the, the image from 19 minutes ago we can definitely see all the rainfall especially across the waters to the west of the island to the east of the grand cayman island right there definitely some heavy rainfall the dark greens the yellows we can also see some heavy rainfall to the southwest of the island there's some dots of blues and greens right there to the north and to the east of the island but we can rule out some more rainfall maybe some of this meandering back eastward or coming in from the south again something is going to be going down tonight into monday for sure so stay alert just in case we have some isolated flash flooding and if we take a look here at the guantanamo bay cuban military radar we can make out some rainfall definitely affecting portions of southeastern cuba northwestern heated waters to the north of the island of jamaica and we can see even better what we just saw on the cuban radar right here on the cayman radar the rainfall right there to the west of the island the blues the greens the yellows definitely some heavy rainfall right there to the east and southeast of grand cayman right there and if we take a look at the live cam from c jamaica's youtube channel showing crossroads this is as of 7 51 pm not seeing much taking place vehicles and people going about their business definitely drying out road not as soaked as it was earlier today 
and so definitely fear for now but that could change as the night progresses with this trough affecting the island so look out for some possible more rainfall if not tonight maybe early monday morning or throughout the day on monday if not early monday morning all right so before we get into the temperatures right now we need to highlight the fact that we made a post signifying that yesterday was the last day of summer so we stated today sunday september 22 2024 marks the first day of autumn autumn signifies the transition from summer to winter the duration of daylight becomes noticeably shorter and the nights last longer there is also an increase in rainfall and the temperature cools considerably i'm 100 percent sure that autumn is most of us you know it's our season for sure we have more rainfall temperatures are at least getting less robust like what they are normally like in the summer and we're indeed grateful for that we want the rainfall and as we head into the month of october we're definitely gonna be in for some more rainfall on the increase as usual so autumn is the month it is the month <laughs> or not the month it is the season october is the month autumn is the season for all of us especially the pluvial files that love the rainfall if we take a look at the temperatures right now we can see our 26 degrees celsius in both montego bay and kingston and by about 4 a.m on monday temperature should have down to about 24 degrees celsius in montego bay 26 degrees celsius in kingston taking a look here at the temperature forecast for tomorrow this map from the gfs is showing 18 z on monday which is actually 1 pm on monday and we can still see jamaica right here embedded in some grays and some blue colors that represent average to be low average temperatures maybe one degree celsius below average if not average temperatures we see the eastern half getting in on those grays we see the central to the western half getting in on the blues represents the below average temperatures now it makes sense considering that the heaviest weather is right now off to the west of the island so we're indeed grateful for that cloud cover bringing average to below average temperatures that's what we want to happen we don't want all the heat we don't want all the oranges or the reds at all give us the cooler than average temperatures i know the average temperatures for the month of september across jamaica are close to 90 degrees fahrenheit when calculated 90 degrees fahrenheit is about the same as 32.2 degrees celsius so for jamaica's temperature on monday it should be anywhere from 29 no not 29 but let's say 30 31 32 degrees celsius at most maybe even less than that for jamaica's temperature on monday and we're indeed grateful for that doesn't mean that we must you know drink alcohol or caffeine or not stay hydrated we must always stay hydrated drink lots of water especially when we're not really thirsty if you feel hungry drink water instead definitely eat the fruit as well more grapes more apples oranges bananas than anything else all right so let us take a look at the saharan dust forecast for 2 p.m on monday we still see that majority of the atlantic in general is in the clear as all the bronze represent the saharan dust should be right there across the eastern main development region right there off the coast of africa we see that saharan dust and it doesn't seem like it's gonna be ramping up anytime soon and we're indeed grateful for that we don't want the hazy skies we don't want the asthma or the sinusitis issues at all if we take a look at the wave forecast for tomorrow this map from the euro and this map from gfs are both showing 12 p.m on monday and it makes sense that if we look here the water is to the west of the island starting to ramp up with the darker blues and the purples that represents two Maybe all the way up to what three meter wave heights or more because the system is definitely trying to develop to the west of us and it also makes sense that the winds are going to be spinning anti-clockwise to the west of us as well more of a southeasterly flow of wind across the island should continue we had that today and we're going to be getting it tomorrow as well we see the strong winds in the yellows right there moving towards the Cayman Islands they're definitely gonna be getting that strong wind and if this is impossible to develop maybe some I don't know maybe some tropical depression forest winds maybe weak tropical storm forest winds for sure 
we definitely had the strong um gusty winds today with winds gusting to tropical storm force in some areas today for sure as reported from the norman Manley international airport and if we take a look at the close-up of jamaica we definitely have a strong southeasterly flow well more so to the west of the island where we see these brighter greens and yellows we have a weaker flow right there up to the central eastern portion of the island where we see the five to ten knot colors right there either way if we're gonna be having some afternoon rainfall we know the drill wherever we have the least amount of wind so that's where the air is gonna be piling up for some afternoon rainfall but given the weather that we're gonna be getting it should be rainfall throughout the day if not overcast skies throughout the day for most of the island and with the upper level winds still fanning out from the air flow pressure we're gonna be getting a westerly flow for sure as all of the upper level wind is pushing to that direction pushing to the north over the cayman islands right there definitely some nice outflow from the system as it tries to develop and if we take a look at the rainfall forecast maps now this is why we're here this is what we all want to see where and when the rainfall is expected within the next 24 hours all right so this is as of 10 p.m tonight which is actually 9 p.m jamaica time actually so 10 p.m eastern standard time which is actually 9 p.m jamaica time we're showing this map from the euro only because it is in contrast with what the gfs is showing right here for the same time period if you remember last night we showed some images from the gfs and some images from the euro and the year was showing rainfall but the gfs wasn't showing rainfall and vice versa and it could be a case where we have something similar happening tonight more rainfall so we see more whites than anything else right here for 9 pm tonight on the euro gfs on the other hand has a lot of green some yellows represent some maybe some heavy rainfall lashing portion of southern and western jamaica as we continue to go out in time 5 a.m eastern standard time which is actually 4 a.m jamaica time we see both the euro and the gfs starting to come in to consent of the rainfall across the island euro has more of it off to the south of the island or on some on, on land on some southern parishes maybe some western areas as well gfs has something similar but a lot more of that rainfall across northwestern jamaica and eastern jamaica as we continue to go out in time this is as of 10 a.m eastern standard time which is actually 9 a.m jamaica time we still see a lot of rainfall right there across the waters to the south across southern jamaica western jamaica some dots of blues across eastern jamaica that represents rainfall gfs not as impressed but we still have that rainfall in and around the island, especially across southern and western jamaica as we continue to go to in time 2 p.m eastern standard time which is actually 1 p.m jamaica time look at this now we're starting to see the consensus blues and even some greens in there that represent some rainfall across eastern central and western parishes in jamaica for sure gfs definitely showing that rainfall not as impressive in northeastern jamaica like what the euro was showing but definitely showing rainfall across most areas as we continue to go out in time 5 p.m eastern standard time which is actually 4 p.m jamaica time still seeing a lot more rainfall across the island and around the island on both the euro and the gfs malls then by 9 p.m eastern standard time which is actually 8 p.m jamaica time we still see that we have some rainfall lingering across portions of the island for sure euro has more of it across western and southern jamaica gfs has more of it across maybe eastern and central jamaica some coastal areas of the west we'll see how that goes either way both accumulated precipitation forecast maps are in consensus that we're gonna be receiving rainfall somewhere across jamaica within the next 24 hours this map from the euro and this map from the gfs are showing all the rainfall that's expected from now up until 3 z on tuesday when calculated that's all the rainfall that's expected from now up until 10 pm on a monday and we can definitely see all of the red colors the burgundies especially across southern and eastern and western jamaica for sure highlighting that we're having more yellows and oranges across the north that's the least amount of rainfall as you can see by the scale on the right it's greens yellows oranges reds burgundies purples by the way you can see the purple right there off screen to the southwest of the island so the heaviest of the weather should be right there to the southwest 
GFS is even more evident with that in the forecast. So definitely some strong thunderstorms off to the southwest and we can't rule out some of this meandering and coming on land and bringing some flash flooding. As stated, the Meteorological Service of Jamaica has issued a flash flood watch for portions of the island so we definitely have to be on the alert. Either way, we're indeed grateful for the rainfall. We want the rainfall to, you know, keep the temperatures down, keep the water in our pipes, not necessarily to wash anyone away or cause damage, leaking, whatever the case may be. In Kingston, whose bar graph is being shown right here at the top, we shall receive close to 100 millimeters of rainfall. That's almost 4 inches of rainfall. In Montego Bay, whose bar graph is being shown right here at the bottom, we shall receive close to 7 inches of rainfall. That's almost 175 millimeters of rainfall. By the way, keep in mind that if you'd like to see what your specific parish receives throughout the year, you can visit weatherandclimate.com to see that. And regarding how the rainfall is done in inches or millimeters, you can use this nice little graphic right here regarding the rain gauge. We know that one inch of rainfall is about the same as 25 millimeters of rainfall. So you can do the calculation to yourself. All right, so that's it for the weather across Jamaica. Let us focus our attention on the rest of the Caribbean. So we can definitely see that we had some isolated shore activity across portion of northeastern well, the northeastern Caribbean today. Lots of moisture across the central to the western Caribbean associated with the trough and the broad air flow pressure. Tropical wave to the northeast of the South America, north northeastern South America, right there. Clouds right there associated with the tropical wave, right there exiting the coast of Africa, just like what the Hurricane Center highlighted. And if we take a look at the Doppler radar images of the northeastern Caribbean, just to confirm the rainfall that portions of Puerto Rico is receiving as we speak, not only Puerto Rico but northeastern Dominican Republic, the British Virgin Islands, Saint Kitts and Nevis. Guadeloupe, St. John's, Dominica getting in on some isolated shores. And if we take a look at the Doppler radar images from earlier today, we can see that portion of Puerto Rico definitely got in on some of the rainfall, eastern, central, and northwestern Puerto Rico for sure. If we take a look at the Barbados radar, not much taking place across Barbados right now, but we do see some isolated shores passing to the south up there from east to west. Some of this might just make it online across Barbados. We can see some rainfall right there to the west of Martinique. Not seeing much happening across St. Vincent and the Grenadines or St. Lucia, but we do see some isolated shores to the east and to the south of Tobago. Some of this might make it into Trinidad as well. If we take a look at the weather via Doppler radar images, we can see some of that rainfall associated with the trough across portions of Cuba. Southern Florida definitely got another some rainfall today. So too the Dominican Republic. Northwestern Venezuela, the border of northeastern Venezuela and Guyana, section of Colombia, the water to the northeast of Nicaragua, so too Belize, the Yucatan Peninsula, northern Guatemala and Honduras, definitely gotten some of that rainfall with more to come. And as relates to what's expected within the next 24 hours, this map from the Euro and this map from the GFS are both showing all the rainfall that's expected from now up until 3Z on Tuesday when calculated, that's now until the 10 p.m. hour on Monday and we do see the greens and the yellows that represent some isolated showers in store for portions of Puerto Rico, section of the Leeward Island, north of Guadeloupe, south of their Dominica Martinique. You can also see some of that in store for section of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, section of Trinidad and Tobago. If we scroll down, we can also see some isolated showers in store. Or maybe coastal areas of Guyana and Venezuela or the border of Guyana and Venezuela. Don't see much across Guyana on the GFS but definitely on the Euro. We'll see how that goes. Section of Colombia and Venezuela getting in on some rainfall. So too Panama, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, Honduras, El Salvador, Guatemala, Belize, the Yucatan Peninsula, the Cayman Islands, Cuba and the Bahamas. So too Haiti and the Dominican Republic. I was that both the year and the GFS models are in consensus with this forecast. I know that when they're in consensus like this, the chances of it actually happening are much higher. Alright, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching.